Welcome back. You know, there's nothing that takes the edge off a crisis like a little comfort food and Burgerville is filling that role for many essential businesses during the COVID crisis by providing burger breaks to a lot of people who've had to keep working. Cor Harlan is live this morning to tell us more about Burgerville's initiative. I love Burgerville, Cor. Yeah, this sounds like a pretty good thing. Even at 530 in the morning, you're talking about a comfort break. Burgerville, uh, of course, the northwest chain of hamburger restaurants. They stretch from Centralia, almost Centralia area, all the way down to almost Eugene in western Oregon and western Washington, a chain of about 40 stores. It prides itself on local ingredients, locally sourced ingredients. Well, they've taken up a new initiative uh, during the shutdown here, and as Jenny mentioned, that is to bring comfort to essential workers in the form of burger breaks. Hospital workers at Peace Health St. John in Longview got a visit from the Burger Brigade at Burgerville earlier this week. It's part of Burgerville's new initiative to support people deemed essential workers as much of the businesses in Oregon and Washington remain closed. Everybody wants comfort and familiarity right now and nothing really says that like Burgerville. The burger breaks are intended to provide people working with some downtime and the comfort of food grown and raised mainly from Northwest growers and ranchers. The idea of the burger break actually grew out of the experience of many Burgerville customers. We'd see doctors, nurses, people on the front lines coming through our drive throughs tired and hungry, and we wanted to be able to get food out to the community to serve them. Here's what's really neat about the program. Burgerville has asked its local suppliers to kick in to offset some of the costs associated with the burger breaks. They have, and customers have also donated about $10,000 so far. For every burger that money buys, Burgerville will give away three burgers to the cause going forward. Any essential business can request a burger break. They've done four of them so far. They have over 30 planned through June. It's a break. Good burgers with locally grown and raised ingredients, providing frontline workers comfort in times that are anything but comfortable. And of course, this Burger Break program is going on amidst the shutdown here. Burgerville has not been immune from the slowdown. They've had to lay some people off. They do have all of their, uh, most all of their drive throughs uh, that are functioning, but like a lot of other food establishments, Jenny and Ken, uh, times are tough for food makers. Even though they have the drive throughs going through, they have lost a lot of business. So it's nice and it's an encouragement, an encouraging thing to see a, a company step forward here with a real positive initiative in the face uh, of a pretty sizable slowdown. Jenny and Ken. Yeah, I love that they're doing that. And I've long said they're my favorite burger joint, uh, local burger joint. So they do some good yes. burgers. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Yeah, let's take a look at our uh, traffic and weather right now and uh, starting with Kelly Bayern. And are we going to see any sun today? Yeah, today we'll see a mix of clouds.